this is Caitlin, and today I'm going to show you how to make the strawberry charm. So that's what it looks like. Okay, so this strawberry charm is my original design. There, I know there is another strawberry charm out there, but I actually made this up on my own. So what you'll need for this charm is one loom shaped like a V, your colors, I'm going to be using red and green. Your hook. And I am also going to be using a Expo black dry erase marker. That is because we can do dot, dots for seeds on the strawberry charms. And we can like dot them on one day and then like the... Two days later, we can wipe them off and then put them on again. Otherwise, if you use Sharpie, they may not come off. So use the Expo marker if you would like to keep the if you would like to reuse the rubber bands. So let's start placing the rubber bands on the now loom. Now I'm going to show you how to place the rubber bands onto the loom. But first, you don't need your hook and you don't need the Expo marker to put those out of the way. So now you are going to take one single green rubber band from this peg to this peg and make sure the arrows are facing away from you. Okay, now I'm going to take two more green rubber bands from this peg to this peg diagonally out to the left. Press down and then out diagonally out to the right. All right. So now it's time to think about how long you want your strawberry to be. If you want it about an inch, like this one is, then you can do three rows. If you want it to be longer than that, and about three centimeters, like this one, then um, you can do it about four rows. I'm going to be doing it just like this one, three rows, because I think it looks cuter and shorter this way. So I'm going to take two red rubber bands from this peg to this peg, straight, press down, again two rubber bands, this peg to this peg, and that was our second row, now our third row, two rubber bands, this peg to this peg, press down, and then we're going to close diagonally up to our bands again, this peg to this peg. Just like that. Now we're going to do the same on the other side. Two our bands, this peg to this peg. Again, two our bands, this peg to this peg. And then again. And then you're going to close diagonally up, this peg to this peg. So it should look like this now. Now we'll, we'll, we will be doing some more rubber band placing. You are going to take one single rubber band, this peg to this peg. Press down. Again, single rubber band, this peg to this peg, another single rubber band, this peg to this peg, and one more single rubber band, this peg to this peg. So it should look like this now, and so we are going to flip it, take a rubber band, do like a cabbage band, you're going to press down right here though. Take it, kind of stretch it out, and cross it to so make a figure eight, then make, turn it back upon itself. Take it from this peg to this peg, so it's a line across. And it's a bit, the rubber band, oh, it might feel like it's going to break, but it's not unless you pull really hard. So now we're just going to do singles across. A 
the border right here. And we are going to do a capping band for this peg. Take it, cross it, turn it back upon itself. And I'm just going to place it from this peg to this peg just so it's a little easier to hook. So now it should look like this. Let's begin the hooking. So now again it should look like this. So pause the video and look at your loom to see if my, yours looks like mine. Alright, so let's begin the hooking. Take your hook. You're going to reach in, grab the top rubber band, and then from this peg to this peg. Right here, the top one. Just like that. Now you're going to grab the top two rubber bands. On this peg. Then you're going to grab the two rubber bands that are left. On to this peg. Ah. So now all it should look like is this. Okay, so now again, we are going to reach in for the middle, grab the bottom rubber band, onto this peg. Then you're going to reach in, grab these bottom two rubber bands right here, from this peg to this peg. Then you're going to reach in, grab these bottom two rubber bands right here, from this peg to this peg. Then you're going to reach in again, grab the bottom, middle, and you are going to do this until you have reached these pegs. So now it should look like this. If you did not follow what I was saying, rewind the video and watch that part again. You are just gra grabbing the middle rubber, bottom rubber band from the neck to the next peg in front of it, then grabbing the two on the left to the forward peg, and then doing the same for the right. So now we have left off where it is right here. So we are going to now grab these two bottom rubber bands right here from this peg to this peg. So we are still working left to right. Again for this peg. Okay, now there are a lot of rubber bands right here, so I'm going to reach in, grab the bottom one, so it should look like this now. I'm just going to reach in, grab these off, and I'm going to push it far back on my loom. And I'm going to take it off now. It's very hard to get it off like that second peg in the middle because there are so many thick rubber bands with this one rubber band that's right here. All right, so my strawberry now looks like this. You can stretch it out a bit, stretch it to make it the shape. It's triangular shape. Okay, now you're going to turn it into a keychain by taking it from this rubber band that was right here over the second rubber band. So you're just crossing it. And then you're taking this second rubber band that's now in front, taking it off, so we now have a keychain. So now it's time to put the seeds on our strawberry. Okay, so now your strawberry should look like this, and I stretched it out a little bit. So now take the black dry erase marker, and I'm not sure if you can see me do the dots, but I'm just going to do a little black dots on it for seeds. 
I'm gonna flip it over now. And so then maybe like tomorrow or the next day, like two days after you do this, you can just wipe them off with like a wet paper towel and then do them again so they don't stick on, stay on very well, so they don't stay on very long if you want to reuse the rubber bands. So mine looks like this now. I hope you guys enjoy this fun, crazy, and creative fruit rainbow loom charm. Check out my other videos by typing in jlender2003 in lowercase. Thank you for watching this video. Bye!